Over the past decade or so, the entire world has realized that uh, what keeps the world going and growing is innovation. And countries need not only technology-led innovation, but they also need social innovation. I'm an entrepreneur uh, by training. I spent the last 40 years of my life in Silicon Valley, which is uh, in many ways uh, the birth of uh, entrepreneurship. It's also the birth of social entrepreneurship. What we discovered a few years ago, when the entire world uh, was precipitated into a financial crisis in 2008, is that uh, we could not depend upon the generosity of others if we were to pursue long-term social goals. We opened Susan's house 12 years ago, when a good friend of mine named Susan passed away. She had a dream of working with Judith Risk and artists. We went down to the streets, we told the kids about the idea, come with us, we'll teach you how to make art, and we will sell it, and through the selling, you will make money. Whenever philanthropy stops, if you run a traditional social program or a traditional NGO, you are likely to stop what you do and suffer from uh, irreparable dislocations. This is certainly what happened in the social scene here in Israel. Susan's house became a big success in terms of rehabilitating kids. As a business, of course, we had a lot of difficulties. A traditional philanthropy based on donation. The new philanthropy is the difference between donation and investment. You like to see results, you like to see performance, you like to be sure that it's creating an impact, you like to create sustainability. At the end of the day, people will not be too much dependent on your money, on your donation. IVN found us about a year ago. They told us, listen, you know how to work with the kids, you know how to rehabilitate kids, you have the social skills, we have the business skills. We will teach you how to make a business out of it because you have the potential. We bring to the marketplace a combination of uh, business skills and know-how, as well as a uh, financial capital that we deploy across the most promising social ventures. Being a mentor means being aware to the fact that people who manage social enterprises think differently. And switching them from the social arena to the business arena is a psychological, uh, I would say, in some cases, to the force. Kelim Shluvim is a social business, non-profit social business. In Israel, there are a lot of uh, non-profit organizations, hundreds, thousands maybe, and the purpose is to help the, those uh, organizations to increase their self-income. And through the manufacturing of the products, we can do a lot of rehabilitation processes in all kinds of variety. We meet with the organization management every second week, assist them in preparing the business plan. We answer the question and we try to assist them in what they are afraid of and what they are concerned from. Before IVN, we sell our own products to different uh, companies. We had low income and then IVN uh, came into the picture. They help us to build a business plan that will help us to be sustainable. They help us to, to take the dreams and make them something practical that can happen. So the process that we use at IVN is very much uh, borrowed from the business world. And it starts with having rigorous selection process for the ventures that we choose to back. IVN decided to invest in three fields in Israel. The first one is economic development, the second one is education, and the third one is environmental. In the last year and a half, we have met approximately 150 candidates. From this amazing social venture, IVN decided to invest in approximately 25 social ventures. We have more than 25 businesses that we already support and long line of uh, businesses that are expecting our support. Above all, there have to be ventures who pursue a social mission that we believe uh, is deserving and they have to be innovative in their approach. The capital that we deploy in social ventures is typically deployed as loans. These loans get repaid over time. This capital gets recycled. In fact, we measure this. We call this the Capital Turnover Index. The investors not only have the satisfaction of seeing the capital deployed towards uh, social programs that they measure, 
but also they can see the capital recycled towards two, three or more social ventures in the life of the fund. We're after maximum possible social impact across the country. We will definitely choose a social venture that has a potential for replication in multiple geographies over one that can only exist in one place. The idea is to duplicate our success in other places because the idea is very simple. I know people that come from all over the world to see Susan's house and say, wow, it's, it's working great with, with the kids. Why can't we duplicate it in our place? I say, we can. All, all we need is some help and we can do it all over the world. We believe that uh, Israel is at the very beginning of a large and powerful movement uh, behind social ventures. And we think IVN has a special role to play as a catalyst uh, behind this movement. If you give these social entrepreneurs the tools to build their business right, if we teach them how to run it in parallel to keeping the social return of investment criteria, we will create an industry here that will create jobs. We will create a society which is stronger, which is less dependent on the government, and we will reduce the gap between poor and rich in Israel. So we hope to build the social startup nation of the world.